G'day, welcome to the Take Math channel. What we're going to be having a look at in this video is it's a cool little trick on how to multiply numbers that are multiples of 9. I'll give you an example of these. These are numbers like uh, uh, 9, 18, 27, 81, 45, ra 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 ra. And how to, a little trick for multiplying with these numbers. Okay, so an example for this is as follows. So, say you've got a question like 43 times 27. Now look, this is just an interesting way of doing this. So the way that I'm showing you how to do this today, or this video, is as follows. So the first thing we do is we actually look at this number, which is the multiple of 9, which is 27 here, okay? First off, we'll multiply, we'll look at this one, and this one, 9 goes into this three times. We're going to round this one up to the next tens number, which is going to be 30, okay? So if we were to do, instead of 43 times 27, we would go 43 times 30. 30, okay, so the answer you're going to get to this is 1290, okay, so 4 threes are 12, and then the 3 threes are the 90, okay, almost there. Then what do we do? You take 10% off. So 10%, uh, look at this number and divide it by 10, 129, we're going to take this amount off. So if we were to take 129 off this, we're going to get the answer of 1161. That's our answer. <laughs> yeah, how cool is that? Okay, so you round it up to the next tens number and then just take 10% off. And it works, okay? It's a really good. It works at any multiple of 9 number, anywhere from 18 right up to 81. Okay, so there's a couple of steps there. We round up to the next tens, we multiply it out, and then we take that 10% off. Okay, like I said, it's not the fastest one, but it's a pretty cool one anyway. So what about we do 65 times 18. Again, the number that we have right now, identify the multiple 9 one, it's this one. Okay, We're going to round this up, therefore, to 20. So 65 times 20, the answer to that is 1,300. Okay, went through a middle, middle blank then. Okay, and from this we're going to take 10% off, we're going to take 130 off. Okay, 130 taken off this is 1170. That's our answer. Okay, what about another one of these? Okay, uh, what about 24 times 63? Okay, I'm being very unimaginative here. I'm always putting the multiple of 9 number over here, okay? And the next number above this is a 70. Okay, so we end up with 24 times 70. So how would you go with that sort of question? 24 times 70, we're going to be adding... Uh, the way I'd look at this is I'd probably be thinking 14 and 28 is going to be, give us the number of 1680, 168, it's going to be 80. And we're going to take 10% off this. Okay. What answer are we going to get to this? Hopefully you're going to get the answer of 1512. Cool, eh? <laughs> Alright. Um, what about we do uh, a couple more of these? Then I'll show you something, uh, just a, a slight variation on this, okay? <laughs> okay, so say we had 18 times 27. Now what you're going to notice with this is both of these numbers here are multiples of 9. You notice this? This goes in twice and this one goes in three times. Okay, so say we were to, okay, which one do we choose? We could choose any one of these. We could say, let's choose this one and round that up to 30. Or we could have rounded this one, and then taking the 10% off, we could have rounded this one up to 20 and times it by 27. And let's have a look at the result here. You're going to notice that for both of the, these, what we do is we end up with 540. These both equal 540. Okay, so it doesn't matter which one we do. But I'll show you a step further, you can go with this in a second, okay? So say what you can do here is you can go, okay, now I take off 10% of this, so take off 54, and this gives us the answer of 486. Okay, so it doesn't actually matter which one you choose with this. Um, now, just I just want to show you this this thing I was thinking before. Okay, this this next step that you can uh, go with this. So, say you think, well, stuff that. I'm gonna round both of them. Okay, I'm gonna end up with 20 times 30. So we do that, and we end up with the answer of 600. So we take 10 percent off that. 10 percent is 60. We're gonna end up with 540. <laughs> take 10 percent off again. We get our answer. Okay, which is going to be 486. So what we do is we do the same thing. We can round it up. We, we round up both. We have to take off 10% twice. Okay. 
What about one last one of those little ones? Okay. Uh, what about I give you 27 times 81? Okay, 27 times 81. Okay, let's round both of them up. Let's get really, really adventurous here. Round both up to 30 times 90. And we're going to get this answer. 3 nines, 27. 2700, 2700. Take off 10%, which is 270. Okay, that's going to give us the answer of 2430. And take off 10%, which is 243. And that is going to give you the wonderful, wonderful, wonderful answer of 2187. Now, look, at the very least with this, you've got to say it gets you practicing your 10 percents, which is really, really good anyway, okay? I think a lot of people should practice percentages a fair bit, okay? But it's a cool little trick. Is it the fastest trick? No, okay, the jury remains out on that one. But I reckon it's a pretty cool one anyway. Tell us what you think with this. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching. See you next time.